The West Highland Way is a 96 mile long hiking trail in Scotland. It starts from the town of Mulgay, which is near the city of Glasgow, and it ends at the town of Fort William, which is situated near Scotland's highest mountain, Ben Nevis. The idea for the hiking trail was thought up by the ex-serviceman Tom Hunter, who had served with the RAF during the Second World War. He developed the idea along with the other members of his hillwalking club and was officially given permission to construct the path in 1974. It was ceremonially opened on the 6th of October 1980. 1980 was the year when the popular song Don't Stand So Close To Me by The Police was at number one in the UK music charts. And gay sex for men over the age of 21 was legalised in Scotland by the Criminal Justice Scotland Act of 1980. The annual West Highland Way race began in 1986. The race goes from north to south and the record for the fastest time was set by Rob Sinclair in 2017. He completed it in 13 hours, 41 minutes and 8 seconds. The fastest time for a woman was set by Jane Cahoon in 2007 with 17 hours, 16 minutes and 20 seconds. I completed the West Island Way in 7 days. I went a wee bit further and walked up the 974 metre high mountain Ben Lomond on the morning of my third day and I thought I was so amazing. But then I encountered a group of people between Bridgie Borkey and Glencoe who were running the West Highland Way and I realised that I was not so amazing. I was only an ordinary hiker just the same as all the rest. Currently, in 2021, some Republican politicians in America are trying to prevent transgender girls from playing high school sports along with other girls because they ignorantly believe we are a threat. But how can I possibly be a threat to cis female athletes when Jean Cahoon can do the West Island Way in 17 hours, 16 minutes and 20 seconds and it took me 7 days? The Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park was opened in 2002. The National Park introduced a camping ban on the east side of Loch Lomond in 2011 between Conic Hill and River Denon, and another camping ban to the north of Loch Lomond between Ardlowie and Glenfalloch. Not everyone is happy about the camping ban. It was introduced to prevent litter such as disposable barbecues and empty drinks cans being left behind on the beaches and other camping spots. But many people claim the ban unfairly discriminates against working class campers from Glasgow. The park is patrolled by enforcement officers who will try to move the campers on before threatening them with a fixed penalty notice, which is similar to a parking ticket, or they can charge them with a criminal offence, which means the camper will have to go to court. The National Park is a resource, just like any other resource, and those who manage the park are protecting the resource by preventing it from being overused. But the people who are being targeted are not people who drop litter, or people who make too much noise. They are people who use camping as a cheap alternative to a hotel, or a cabin, or a caravan. Therefore, it is the poorer masses who are excluded from the park, while the middle classes can continue to enjoy the natural beauty. The camping ban is the perfect model for understanding the oppression that happens within a capitalist system. But it is nowhere near as bad as China. Restrictions on camping will never be as bad as Falun Gong organ harvesting, or the genocide of the Uyghurs, or more than 60 years of oppression of the Tibetan people, or the recent crackdown on the Hong Kong umbrella protesters. And China is not even communist anymore. They're capitalists. So they have no excuse. And that is why I took my umbrella with me in the West Highland Way. <laughs>